one is a CD junction as well. So what you can do with this one is, it's like a positional manipulation. If you apply the thumb onto to T1, then you can almost use the, the neck, not as a, as a lever, you can use the neck as a guide, because you don't want to be thrust in the neck. The thrust is actually coming onto the T1. If I just show you quickly on this vertebra. So for instance, you've got C1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, T1. And if you decided to open or close the facet on this side here, then you can actually use the thumb on the T1. If you, if you decided the T1 palpitates to the left, even though the vertebra is rotated to the right, you can put your thumb onto the T1, spineless process, and then I'll position the neck, and I'm going to rotate the neck down to C6, and then my thrust, so I'm locking that area, so I use the T1 with this hand in that position, and I will thrust that way to try to change the position. So this is a positional manipulation. So if I, if I just bring your head, I'm going to bring your head out there, can you hear that? Okay, so that position there. So I, so I already know where I am in terms of a position, but a lot of people would rotate the neck, palpate down to it. So I'm going to come on to C7, that's T1. So I use the neck there. So I'm locking in. So there's the lock. I'm not thrusting with this hand. There's the lock there. And the thrust would be that way. Up and over this now. Let's try the other side. It's probably because I've just done C7, T1 and that way. Okay, let me just change it in place. Yeah. So a little bit of slight extension. So C7. So I'm going to lock in. You okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to lock. And the thrust is. There you go. And that just really scored nicely. You okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then that would be a C7 T1 prone thrust. Um, but everybody tends to use the neck as a lever. So they thrust the neck. But the thrust is actually on the T spine more than anything else. But I think we move on anyway on that one. So you can end up.